Oh no! Oh no! Are you serious? It's that time of year again. Bilderberg! That's right, here we go again. The storm around Donald Trump is about to shift a few more miles just west of the White House. Isn't it strange? Everybody's just moving in. I mean, President Barack Hussein Obama just bought an $8.1 million home just down the street from the White House. And uh, uh, he said he's just, why rent? He said, when you can buy. Yeah, it's pretty, just closed on it. No problem. Going to keep his uh, very lucrative home also in Chicago. And who knows where else he may end up buying one for it's over. But why is he and Michelle and <laughs> Valerie Jarrett still hanging around in Washington? Well, don't worry. Bilderberg is coming close by as well. Matter of fact, just a few miles west of the White House to a conference center in Channely, Virginia, where the embattled president of the United States will be getting his end-of-term grades from the people whose opinion really matters, Bilderberg. Matter of fact, the secret three-day summit of a political economic elite kicks off uh, today in a heavily guarded, secluded area at the Westfields Marriott a luxury hotel a short distance from the Oval Office. And the hotel was already on lockdown. What? Back yesterday, and an army of landscapers have been busy planting fir trees around the perimeter to protect, of course, anybody who may be wanting to know who's going there. These billionaires and bashful bank bosses from uh, anybody seeing them with prying lens. And that would probably include Alex Jones, of course, crawling around somewhere in the weeds and the bushes, maybe bumping into Sean Spicer, both of them trying to get a, in the bushes, trying to get a look at who is going in the door. And Alex Jones always does a great job covering Bilderberg, and uh, I'm sure he will do it again this year. Now, perched ominously at the top of the conference agenda this year are these words, the Trump administration. Folks, this is the urgency, an emergency for an urgency. The new world order, the global elitists, the Illuminati are freaking out. They have to deal with Donald J. Trump, the president of the United States. They did not expect this year's Bilderberg convention to be one of an emergency matter. They were expecting Hillary Rodham Clinton to be handing them the keys to the new beast system and that the UN was, was expected to be getting ready to implement the new world order. Instead, they've got to go into emergency mode on dealing with Donald Trump. Is the president going to be put in detention for tweeting too much on Twitter? Will he be held back a year on his report card? Or will they just tell him to empty his locker and leave? Bilderberg is absolutely wanting to say to President Trump, you're fired. But we understand that uh, actually the first person fired of this Bilderberg uh, weekend is a CNN uh, comedian, supposedly, uh, Kathy Griffin, with her beheading of Donald Trump. Now, let me just put this. I'm going to put this together. No one else has put this together, but I'm going to be the first to do it. I believe that her picture of a beheaded Donald Trump was the effigy. What you normally have with the Bohemian Grove is the burning of the effigy of a person, supposedly, in front of the owl as world media moguls and U.S. congressmen, U.S. senators, former U.S. presidents, foreign ministers, kings, CEOs, bank, um, uh, bank presidents run around naked in the woods with a little hoodie on looking like something from uh, the days of, of the, you know, of the, the dark, the depthness, the demons, uh, the, uh, the Illuminati deep down in the dungeons of the, 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 the skull and bones or the, or the uh, masons or even some of the other uh, secret societies. Well, this, I think Bilderberg finally got tired of not having their own sacrifice. And so uh, Kathy Griffin, must have been sent out to have the first uh, effigy, a beheaded Donald Trump. 
Now, she was just fired by CNN, but, you know, they're just, I'm sure with a golden parachute, she'll land somewhere very close to Bilderberg. Um, the White House is taking no chances on this situation, folks. They're sending along some big hitters um, to try to defend their boss, the National Security Advisor, H.R. McMaster, the Commerce Secretary, Wilbur Ross, Trump's new strategist, Chris Lindell. Could the president himself even show up in person? No. But Henry Kissinger, the gravel-throated 90-some-year-old uh, kingpin of the Bilderberg, the father of the Illuminati, I call him, visiting Trump at the White House a few weeks ago. I'm sure Russia will be on the agenda, certainly. Bilderberg is going to try to figure out what to do with President Donald Trump. Their biggest problem, and NATO leaders from Brussels, I'm sure will be there chewing on uh, over the Bilderberg situation. This conference of the secret elite has been going on since 1954. Trump has never been to this meeting, never will he, and neither will he ever go to Bilderberg or Bohemian Grove. He's not a member of any of those secret societies. But right now, he's front and center the problem. He's the problem from the European Union. He's the problem for Angela Merkel at Germany. He's the problem for ISIS. He's the biggest problem uh, for radical Islam. He's the biggest problem of quantum easing by central bankers. He is the problem of the Democratic pro uh, uh, Party's strategic plans. He's Hillary Rodham Clinton's biggest nightmare. And now he is front and center of the issue at Bilderberg. Well, we'll wait and see just what happens here. At least Trump is sending three people in to scope out the land to find out what's going on. And uh, it may turn into a fisticuffs before this thing is over. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll even come up with an, uh, the real explanation to the term coffee fee. C-O-V-F-E-F-E. -F -E -F -E. Coffee fee. Uh, I think I'll go drink some more coffee fee if I can. Are you serious? You don't want to miss today's live broadcast because I'm wound up and ready. <laughs> I must be still on some kind of, you know, uh, uh, jet lagging, uh, time change. I'm in some kind of quantum uh, mindset right now. Are you serious? What if Jesus comes back and these Bilderberg dudes are sitting around uh, plotting their, their own plan for the new world order for the beast? How many of them you think would be ready to meet the Lord in the air? Give your life to Jesus Christ. He's the only way to salvation. Have you got him in your life? See, the Bible told us that there would be, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what we're dealing with. The FEMA camp mentality the last days, the mark of the beast, the time of Jacob's troubles, the beginning of sorrows, the great tribulation era, all of it emerging as the beast, the seven-headed monster with ten horns, prepares itself to show its head. And maybe that's why that sign coming up September 23rd, it's not just the great wonder in heaven that we're all looking forward to seeing which was prophesied in your Bible 2,000 years ago to happen. And it's going to happen on September 23rd, first time in the history of humanity and never to happen again, according to NASA. But it's the, it also says in Revelation 12, and I saw another wonder. And it was about the great dragon and the, and the emerging of the beast. Seven heads, 10 horns. Same thing as you see in Revelation 13. You see, I can see the storm clouds gathering. Are you saved? Look, give your life to Jesus Christ. If you want to really have peace in this world of persecution, if you want to live in joy in the midst of all of this other chaos, call upon the name of the Lord. Remember what the Lord revealed to me in the fall of last year. The Lord spoke to me as I was praying. He said, Paul, 2017 will be a year of chaos for the world but a year of great blessings for the body of Christ. That's why I'm putting together the Salvation Station. We're going to continue to win people to Jesus Christ on a daily basis. 
getting them in because the Lord is coming soon. Are you saved? Come to my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Don't miss today's live broadcast. I'm broadcasting on all of it. I'll be on Blog Talk Radio, paulbegleyprophecy.com, Roku, Satellite Television, uh, new live stream, YouTube Live, my website, everywhere, archives, everywhere. Don't miss this broadcast. Live, 12 noon Eastern. We're going to talk about Bilderberg.